This classic orbit transfer is so efficient, we still use it 100 years after it was first proposed. I'm an aerospace engineer, and this maneuver is called the Hohmann transfer orbit, one of the most elegant tricks in orbital mechanics. It's a two burn sequence. The first burn pushes your rocket out of its original circular orbit into a stretched elliptical orbit, and the second burn, executed right at the peak of the ellipse, locks you into a new circular orbit. But here's the twist that first engine burn has to be just right, not too strong, not too weak, just enough to let your rocket coast along the elliptical path toward the higher orbit. But want to get there faster? Sure, you can punch that first burn harder if your rocket allows for it, but that stretches the ellipse and by the time your rocket reaches the other side, it's going too fast for the new orbit. So what do you do? You burn the engine again, but this time to slow it down. It still consumes fuel, quite a lot of it, but now you're shedding speed instead of gaining it. And here's the kicker, your total fuel cost is the sum of both burns no matter which direction they go. You can speed up, slow down, or do both, but the universe still charges you the full price on propellant. Of course, the Hohmann transfer orbit works cleanly under ideal conditions, circular, coplanar, and lined up just right with perfectly timed burns. Real missions usually aren't that perfect, so engineers have to correct for things like non-circular orbits, non-instantaneous burns, or gravity effects from other bodies. So next time you hear about a rocket coasting through space, remember it's riding a carefully timed transfer orbit, balancing time, fuel, and physics.